We've heard this before. We absolutely have heard this before, like literally two years ago with a, a tweet in April saying he was retiring. Yeah, the tweet got a little longer this time around. We're going to show it to you right now. I love now. how it starts. This is the announcement from the man himself. These are the words. Hey, guys, quick announcement. I've decided to retire from the sport formerly known as mixed martial art in quotes today. I wish all my old colleagues well going forward in competition. I now join my former partners on this venture already in retirement. Proper pina coladas on me, fellas. Hey, guys. Going to bring in our UFC insider Ariel Hawani now. Okay, let's just start with the basics. What was your reaction when you saw that tweet from McGregor? Uh, I was reminded of, of a quote from the great Yogi Berra, who once said, "It's deja vu all over again." As you guys just mentioned, uh, it was three years ago that Connor sent out that tweet where he said, uh, "Smells you later, or catches later, and 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 thanks for the cheese." Um, and the circumstances were much different that time. Uh, he was dealing with a lot emotionally. A friend of his had just fought in a match where the opponent died shortly thereafter, and, and he was having mixed emotions about being a part of the sport and doing promotion for an upcoming fight. This time, I think it's a little different, but I spoke to people very close to Connor as recently as two days ago who were talking to me about uh, his potential return in July, about his training camp, about where he would train. I spoke to people very close to Connor a couple minutes ago, and they were all blindsided by this. I'm only saying that to say that this feels like a very spur of the moment type of announcement. And uh, as of this moment, I'd like to speak to Connor before, you know, putting in stone that he has officially retired. Okay, I want to put you on the spot here because there were a few things in the tweet that sort of make you go, hmm, including the, the part where he says mixed martial art, the sport formerly known as mixed martial art, and he put that in parentheses. When you see that, what do you think? Yeah, I thought that that was the most interesting part of the entire tweet, so kudos for picking up on that. Uh, I, I think Connor is a little annoyed and tired of some of the politics involved in this sport. You know, he has said publicly all the right things about his relationship with the UFC brass and Dana White in particular, but they have not seen eye to eye over the years. And he wants to return and he wants to fight later on this year. And they haven't been able to come to terms on the right fight and the proper terms. He feels like he should be paid more. He should be he should be getting a bigger pie, a bigger piece of the pie, I should say. And I feel like him saying the sport formerly known as mixed martial arts uh, is his way of saying that the game has changed a little bit and he's not very happy about all of that. So uh, I think it's also interesting that Dana has come out very publicly and matter of fact and said, yeah, he should retire. This feels like a public spat, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the UFC would not be happy with Conor McGregor retiring. This is not good for business, so I don't know why he would be saying something like that. Okay, because that's where I was wanting to go next, because I, I want to pretend for a moment that this is actually not a retirement, and it's more like a negotiation ploy, which is what he did three years ago, because, oh, by the way, it's 2019 and not 2018 anymore. Who has the advantage in this situation if it is just a ploy? Conor McGregor, 100%. He's the biggest star in the history of this sport. He's the biggest draw in the history of the sport. Let's be very clear. The UFC needs Conor McGregor. No one draws like he draws. Conor McGregor versus a broomstick gets over a million pay-per-view buys. There's no one even close to him, and that's why every week when someone wins a fight, they call out Conor McGregor, and it doesn't matter if they're fighting at flyweight, bantamweight, featherweight, lightweight, welterweight. They all want to fight him because he's... He's the lottery ticket, and so he holds all the power. Now, at the end of the day, he is under contract with the UFC, so they could put him on ice, and they could go to court, and he could try to fight elsewhere, and they could litigate all those things and more. But at the end of the day, who needs who more right this second? It's, it's the UFC that needs Conor because Conor has a lot of money. At some point, that money is going to ride out. But at right this moment, he has a lot of money, and so he feels like he could play this game, in my opinion. Conor McGregor versus a broomstick. You officially win the morning. For more Ariel, check out his show, Ariel and the Bad Guy. It's on ESPN+.